Hello, guys. <sighs> How are you doing uh, this morning? Or wh whatever, whatever time it is for you. <sighs> I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, today we're gonna. Um, I would like to work. I would like to change. I, would, I don't want to work again on the procedural map generator. Maybe we'll do a little bit of it uh, if we're done before that, but um, I can officially say, by the way, who is my publisher. Uh, so my publisher is Astrological and we started working together already. Um, and one of the first things that I'd like to do is to create a, a proper announcement trailer. Um, so I have a few things to do for this, to prepare. Uh, I'm not going to be the one making the trailer. An agency is going to do it for us. But obviously, um, it's better if I can give, you, give them um, what I want to have in the trailer. Uh, if I can give them recordings of... Um, of the game recording that I would like them to include into the game. Uh, hello, Cyber Potato Game Dev. <laughs> really nice new username. You saw me on YouTube? Yeah, <laughs> I have a, a devlog channel on YouTube. The link in is in the about section if you want. Welcome on the on the live stream stuff. Um. So yeah, to, today we're gonna work a little bit on this, and uh, yeah. yeah, we'll see what we can do. I don't think it will take two hours, so maybe maybe we'll be done sooner. So first thing I'm gonna do. is uh, putting all of this in a note, actually. Uh, announcement trailer notes. Uh, yeah. Um... Astro, it's astrological. Astrological, uh, Astra Games. Well, I think they, they change the, the name at some point. So here you go. So they are still a very new publisher. But they used to, they, fund, they funded a lot of games because they were a fund before. Not a publisher, just a fund. So we're still like um, starting out. But they have uh, cool projects like Lure <laughs> in the works. It's a small team, as you can see. So I quite like that. And uh, yeah. Uh, you were a game designer. Any good sources of books you recommend about game design? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna... Well, actually, I have one just on my on my desk. Uh, Gamefield. I'm rereading it. Very cool book. Definitely take a look at this. Gamefield by uh, Steve Swink. I also actually very like... Those books that I also reread, that, that's why they're on my desk. So by um, Austin Kleon, still like an artist, show your work and keep going. Um, more useful, you know, for the creative side of it, not really game design. And uh, you can also take a look at the art of game design, uh, which is uh, a great book. Um, I'm definitely gonna actually reread re it. It has a collection of, of laws, of lenses uh, that you can take a look at to improve your game and stuff. 
So I think one day I'm gonna make a stream and actually review all of the lenses. I think I'm gonna do this at some point. Uh, yeah, Serial of Fun. Yeah, I read it too. Really good. Um, not my favorite. Not my favorite. But it's very short, so you can you can read it. It's very fast. Uh, lots of interesting stuff, but yeah, it, it's a good it's a good way to learn that um, that learning is fun. <laughs> that you want your game to, to your your player to learn. Basically, if if I'm getting very the biggest message of the book, but there's a lot of different stuff inside you. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you, Alex. Thank you. You you have the book on your desk too. <laughs> yeah, well, I was reading it this morning actually, and uh, I usually keep my books on the desk because I'm I'm lazy. And uh, yeah, you're welcome, Cyber Potato. But uh, as I actually like said, the best way to learn about uh, games is to make them. Actually, uh, books are good, but uh, don't forget to. To spend most of your time making games more than reading books. Okay, so my idea about the trailer was um, so I would like at the start I would like like um, a zoomed in scene of uh, the home. Uh, with crackling sounds of fire and, of, and it will zoom out of the scene we zoom out and new tiles will appear basically uh, with um, almost no music just a few piano notes, basically. So that would be like the beginning of the... of the... I don't know why I'm putting all of this in... <laughs> in brackets. Um, so that would be like the first scene. So you it's zoomed out and new tiles appear. And then we start having what we call like a trailer card or something. So basically it's, you have like a text. Uh, so for example, I would like to have um, explore. So it's written explore. And then it shows like uh, It shows um, three rapid shots of uh, a player exploring the map and discovering uh, new stuff with cell with new cells appearing, basically. Then uh, collect. Uh, which shows a uh, hunting minigame hunting and uh, chopping minigame then obviously I would like build and for the build I would like like a zoomed out view of uh, Have a, <clears throat> a zoom out view that keeps that keeps zooming out and buildings appearing on the tiles one after the other. Um, for this, I'm not sure, or maybe just the player building stuff, you know. Maybe I just have to, to show this, like just the, the player using the interface and building stuff. I, I don't really know. Um, 
I think having a zoomed out view is kind of cool. And to see like pop, 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 the building appearing. Oh, by the way, from here, uh, music starts for real. So it's like a really the same music as in the game, pie on the music. Start with detail of him walking and expand with the zoom. Makes it impactful. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean here, Te Theo. But, uh... oh, okay. So you mean something like we can see the player build stuff and then it takes it zoom out and you see more buildings building. Yeah, it could be in combinations of both actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually it's a good idea. Um, see player building a thing. Whatever thing, I don't care. And then it zoom out and buildings appear on the tiles one after the other. No player interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the best of both worlds because I, I don't think it's a good idea to not show how the player is going to build. It's important, I think, in the trailer to show how is the player going to play the game, basically. Uh, and then it zooms out and buildings appear on the ties. Maybe it's going to be hard to make the transition between both of them fluid, but yeah, I think it's smooth. I think it's it's cool. Oh, and it zooms out. I was thinking maybe instead of the zoom out, a traveling to the right, maybe, just to not have only zoom outs in the in the trailer. Uh, then I was... Uh, hey, Mr. Da. How are you doing? No, no procedural stuff today. Sorry. Well, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit at the end. We'll see. Oh, by the way. I still forgot. I always forgot this. Maybe I should just remove it. Here you go. Uh, maybe I was thinking about maybe optimize or organize and but I don't think now this one I don't think I'm gonna do this one to be honest it doesn't sound appealing I was th I was thinking about showing uh, adjacency bonus but I don't think it's that interesting I think build is already something that Maybe it could be a build and organize, you know, I don't know. Um, then uh, decide. Decide. Uh, decide. I'm not sure. Decide or maybe make decisions. Not sure. But basically, I would like to show um, a dialogue with the orcs, for example. Or any, any kind of dialogue that is interesting. The dialogue with the orcs is interesting because there is a moral dilemma. Or will you help them? Will you steal their thing? And so, etc. And it shows you that you're not alone in the game. There are orcs. So you can kind of feel there is some fantasy going on. Uh, I think showing only one choice is important because I don't think we have time to show more than this. The, the idea is that all of this should fit into less than one minute. So I, I don't I don't want to, to, to show too much stuff. And then uh, music. Uh, 
music uh, is getting nervous. <laughs> and we shall survive uh, the dark or something. And it shows a storm spawning and spreading darkness. Then then uh, the death and the mini game. So you know the mini game with the sword that like you can slash the, the darkness right and left and top and bottom. I think it's a good one to have. And eventually I was thinking about maybe the final one, but I'm not sure. The final one would be a, the monolith, the black monolith. Uh, destroying a tile, you know, with the big down, big explosion sound that you have in the game. Uh, like... And... Uh, Pay to black. And the final screen would be uh, something like bring light to the world with um, Lua, uh, with a fade out of Lueur in the middle of the screen uh, animated to move on the left and then we show the key art of the game with you know basic um, basic uh, you know I don't know demo on steam uh, wishlist now I don't know this kind of stuff. Knowing that this animation thing uh, will, uh, I think, will be done by the agency that is going to make the trailer. I think. <laughs> we'll see. Because I won't do it. So if, if, it will depend if they want to do it. And um, I was thinking it would be cool to have, um, I'm not sure. But I would have liked uh, between transition that like uh, there is no there is no cut in the image. So basically, I would have liked to have uh, you on the map and then the camera moves and goes onto the next point. That would be like, for example, it start like. Zoomed, zoomed in on the home. It, it zooms out. And then it moves, for example, to the right. So you can see the camera moving to the right. And there is the word explore. And it moves back to the bottom. And you can see so you can see a player exploring stuff. It could work. But uh, only if I hide most of the HUD and stuff. So I guess that's something I could talk about with the agency. So in order to do all of these things, I realized I would need to add a few things into my game so that they, they can, uh, for example, record the stuff they, wa they want to record. And uh, also, for example, the scene with all the buildings that are created. Obviously, to do this, you kind of need to do it in game. I guess you can do it with a lot of work in the video editing software. I guess you can. Yeah, it would be a ton of work. <laughs> but I guess you can. So I, I will try to do some stuff that will help them make this for me the idea is 
the easier it is for them to have what they want, the better they will, the better the trailer will be. So that's my goal. So what do you think of this short plan? I think I think this will fit into a one minute thing. Like uh I don't know, maybe this scene will last for I don't know five seconds. Let's let's make some Oh what did I do? Let's make some uh maybe seven seconds. I think five seconds is already a lot. The explore thing. Uh, yes, five seconds seems all right to me too. The collect. You know, but you need some time for the person to read explore, to read collect, and then to see the thing. I think you need at least to see the word for one second to be able to read it. So yeah, five seconds sounds good too. Build and organize. See player building a thing, it zoom out. This section I think might might last at least 10 seconds. Because uh, you, you should see the player building the thing and then zoom out and buildings appear on the tile one after the other. So I think it could last about 10 seconds. Uh, this part you need to... So the player needs... The player, the viewer needs to read this. So I think we already need at least one second and then we show dialogue with the orcs and the choice so the player will have to read the dialogue who would in this case will be um the orcs are here uh, the orcs are trapped and you have the free choice steal them leave them uh, help them so you need some time to read all of this so i think six seconds is might be a good number. Then survive the dark. We show the storm spawning and spreading darkness. That that will uh, like survive the dark. Dark will take one second, I think. And show storm spawning and spread darkness. I think will take three seconds. Uh, the mini the death of the mini game will take maybe two to three seconds. Let's say two. The black money is destroying a tile with a big explosion. Might take two seconds too. So three, two, two, yeah. Plus one here. Let's say eight seconds. And bring light to the world. You have the animated lure and uh, the Q art and stuff. So I guess that part will, the logo of the publisher and stuff, you know. So that could be one of the longer sports. Let's see. Eight seconds? I don't know. So 5, 10, 15. Ah, oh, 25. 31. 40. Yeah, see? So already it might take about 50 seconds and maybe I'm underestimating everything because you know if we want to have some effects sometimes you need to make a break in the video and stuff uh, maybe I'm underestimating I think I, I don't think I'm too much underestimating so though so yeah I think that will fit that will be all right and it shows the most interesting stuff in the game I think let me know what you think guys like do you think there are other stuff I should uh, show them Am I missing something important? I should I should show them. Let me know. I, uh, maybe I'm missing something. So <clears throat> I've actually already started to do some stuff. Uh, I don't remember where though. Oh yeah, maybe I should rename this because trailer intro scene because uh, just calling this castle scene doesn't 
Doesn't sound like the trailer thing, right? <laughs> so I already started working on this. So I'm sure it doesn't make sense when you see it like this. Let's run it. Yeah, and it doesn't work. Um, oh, yeah, it doesn't work because I need this. Oh, Tetra used the first reward. <laughs> Hey Tetra, how are you doing? Um, okay, just copy paste. So the goal of this scene is just so that we can record it. And uh, I need to stretch. <laughs> Let's stretch. By the way, anytime I stretch, you guys should also stretch, to be honest. Oh. I'm not a professional of stretching, though. I'm not sure that's a good way to stretch. <laughs> so I'm going to remove this. So basically, I'm going to make everything with scripting, okay? So it's just a scene, and I want to try to make the scene we talked about, the first one, where we zoomed in, and then we zoom out and stuff appear. So I'm going to remove this timer here. Oh no, the timer is actually useful. Well, not for testing, so let's say zero. So it's taking... Of the note. Maybe there's a better way to do this. Do I do I want complete control over how they spawn? Or is a random thing okay? Because I could make the script really easier. Really Yeah, let's try with a, a, a more clever script just because I want to see, but I, I will have less control over it. So the first thing we want to do is go through each child in popping nuts and uh, make them invisible. Uh, what am I doing? So as you can see, when we run When we run the scene, we only see the ties in the middle because all of the other ones are the ones that are going to appear, right? <clears throat> uh, so there's this. So we hide them and then... We'll try it in... Uh, we, do, we do another loop. Uh... Oh, nice, you're on vacation, Tetra. Cool, working on your game. Well, you should enjoy your vacation too. Don't forget to have fun and rest. I mean, creating a game is fun, but it's tiring. And in this thing, we're gonna just do this. So we're gonna start a timer. Seriously? Okay. Um, I'm gonna start the timer and wait. For 0 0.2 second. And then we make the child appear. Oh, wait. 
we need to do this actually child.getChild0.appear and this should give us something interesting already I'm not sure why we don't see them because appear should make them appear but uh, okay well so we can see those appear now uh, how did you set up multi-stream via OBS yeah uh, there is a plugin called, uh, I don't know, Multi Output by Sora Yuki. And you can stream to um, as many Twitch, as many streams as you want. <clears throat> so, yeah, currently I'm on four platforms at the same time. Um. So one thing I just noticed that is not great is that uh, some of them so I want to move the popping nodes below because otherwise the the tiles spawn in front of the current tiles and it doesn't look good. Okay, so that's kind of the thing I'd, I want to have. Maybe a bigger timer. So that, that would be this, the tile spawns, and then at the same time you zoom out. Uh, maybe something interesting would be to actually use a rand range, so maybe between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3, just to have some variety. Right. And uh, we can also we can actually make the zoom in the in the directly in the script to not lose resolution but uh, it's not really a problem like in the editing software you should be able to you know just zoom and zoom out and see six pixel out it's not like you're gonna lose <laughs> too much but we could add it here No, I'm not going to add it here because I think it's important to be able to control this actually in the in the video editor. We're going to we're going to make a test very quickly just after this. So, let's change the ties because it's only boats for now. <laughs> not great. Um okay. So this one, what do I want here? I think I just want some C. What do I want here? Maybe some ships. Oh, it's a forest thing. Maybe... Maybe a big tree. Uh, on this one... Well, 
maybe a light traitor. Light hole. Okay. Oh, uh, I want the active one, please. There you go. Uh, on this one, uh, definitely another Whitfield. Oh, it's called the form. Just to show the player that this is what makes sense, right? So in this phase, I mainly want to show like, uh, you know, something very simple. I might, I might actually want... No, I want something that looks good, but it's simple to watch. So not too many different things. So I'm not going to show desert. I'm not going to show orcs. Uh, I'm not going to show too much buildings. Uh, here, we can make another another farm. Um, on this side, maybe just a, a plane, you know. Uh, uh, maybe a forest, but with wolves this time. Definitely another forest, I think. Just, again, you directly understand, like... This is a lumberjack for um, forest and stuff. Thanks for the hydrate, uh, Starin. Should I show here? Ship. Oh, it's called a herd in the game. Some ship. Uh, should I add the, the fence? Maybe the one with the fence. It's better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the one with the fence. The fence is cute. <clears throat> uh, on this side... Maybe some houses. Doesn't really make sense, but... Uh, just so that you can see you don't have only tents and stuff. Actually, the tile in the middle... 
this one. I don't think it's gonna be this one. I think it's gonna be this one, which is uh, way cuter, I think. Like this. Right. Uh, where was I? Okay. This one. Actually, I think this one Tile 9, I think it's going to be a plane. Yeah. And this one is going to be a lighthouse. And... This one is not going to be sea, actually. It's going to be a, a boat. Fishing boat. And this one is going to be... Sea. So you see, that's not the way I'm creating levels. As, as you might know, if you watched the previous streams, that's not how I create levels, but it's just for this scene. It's completely uncrafted stuff. Just so that uh, we have something... Uh... Actually... I think I prefer to have the lighthouse... Right here. And the sea here. <clears throat> um, More C here is fine. And I want a mountain here. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe here? Actually, I am changing what I said, since it's one of the first image, uh, I think I'm going to have a mountain or maybe a mine directly. I think I'm going to show some desert stuff like a treasure on one of those because I I don't want the player to feel like uh, all right the whole game is is inside forest and sea we'll see because there's already a lot of different stuff compact like this like but that might be too much actually maybe i can put the orcs here scarecrow um yeah I think I can do this uh, 
which one this one if I editable children scarecrow here you go so here's the scene so one issue we have is that uh, <laughs> You can see that it spawns like. Ah, huh, that's a problem. So that's one of the problem of it being done manually. So in my game, there is some code to make sure that things don't spawn at the wrong place. But obviously, on this one, there's nothing. Uh, there's no Z order handling so I have some ties that go through others which is not great which would mean that I might want to reorder the child so that it spawns from top to bottom just to make sure we don't have this issue I'm just going to take this and add it in the scene too that's the thing that adds the little stars in the background I definitely want to keep this thank you for the follow Ippo welcome um, see look at them you'll see that yeah the wolf i mean it's barely you really have to be looking at it but it's still, it's still kind of visible it's not a big issue but it's still kind of visible so basically if we were to Oh, I just realized I can't record anything because I'm streaming to you guys. How am I supposed to do this? <laughs> Followed because the graphic looks better than Loop Hero. Oh, Thank you. Oh, you should know, like, everyone is comparing this game to Loop Hero. So that's uh, that's hard to be compared to Loop Hero, to be honest, since it's a big success. But I'm glad, I'm proud that people are doing this. I just hope nobody is thinking that it's just a copy paste because the game is like not at all like Loop Hero. Uh, this thing should change, by the way. This thing should be a uh, cause. What? What about cause? I mean, it's the we're definitely into the oh, cause in love, cause in love, because they have the little hearts. That's kind of cool. <laughs> you just have to press the pre-screen button. I think. I hope it's not gonna crash. Okay, if it crashes, guys, don't leave. I come back. But I think I can record. Yeah, I think I can record. It's, the only problem is there's gonna be my face, but we can still have a small idea of how it will look for the editor, right? So what I can do is press record. It's gonna have my face and everything, but that's okay. Then we do this. Is it crashing? Seriously? Okay. It didn't crash, at least in OBS. But I'm not sure why it crashes now. Oh, maybe because I didn't run
what's happening? Who is calling this? There is no player in the scene. Get actions. Oh no, I guess maybe one of the structure I added. Uh, I don't know which one. What's the issue? Tie set scenes. Well, yes, that's normal. There is no board. Uh, okay, so there is a building in there. Not sure which one. That when it, when it spawns, it seems to be needing needing something that the other buildings didn't need, <laughs> because those are actually the buildings I'm using in the game, right? The nodes I'm using in the final game. So that's why uh, I still have some script issues. One solution would be to remove the script from every tile. But that's a long process. Who could be the culprit? I think the orcs could be the culprit. The orcs could be the culprit. And maybe the, the castle level 2. Uh, maybe the, the code too could be... Uh, I mean, definitely the best thing to do is to detach the script. Can I do this with a script? <laughs> Can I go there? Can I remove the script of something? Maybe it's in uh, objects then. Uh, I'm quite sure we can remove the script. Set script. So, anyway, I can child set script null. <laughs> Same thing here, just to be, yeah. Doesn't seem to be working. Ah, uh, and that's going to be a problem because I really don't know Oh, that's funny. Oh, there's no script. Because um, I really don't know which one might be causing the issue. Can't, can't be the form. Forms are right. Because I did a lot of them without testing. So the only way to know would be to remove them one by one. And uh, see which one is causing the issue. Or maybe I can just... No, I don't want to mess with the old structure. That's the thing when you... 
when nodes are calling global stuff that doesn't exist in a scene. Then you have to deal with... Uh... Can I do this? Oh, yeah, I can. Well, a bit late <laughs> to notice it, but... Okay, nobody has a script now. Why is, is it still doing this? There's no more script. I should not be doing anything. I guess they still do. I guess they don't care that I remove the script, maybe. Since it's uh, a scene like this, maybe they just ignore the fact that I'm changing it. That's annoying. Uh, okay. Nice. Um, okay. Look, look elsewhere. Don't look at what I'm gonna do, okay? Return something. Oh no! Oh the mistake! Oh the unit mistake! Can I revert this? I can't. Oh no! They need the script, guys. I can't remove. I can't just remove the script. They need it. Oh no, I just removed all the script and I should not have. No! Oh, the pain. Look. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's use my immense programming skills does this work I think it will work shit no uh, oh I don't care about those one actually so let's not do this on those ones oh what's this the pier okay it didn't work I'm not, I'm not sure why it Git for the rescue. Git could have been useful if I had actually committed anything, <laughs> but I just broke everything in a few seconds. I didn't make a commit. Uh, function appear. I I'm not sure why it doesn't seem to work to be setting a script to the chats. For some reason. So I guess I have to give them the script by the script by hand, but I'm really surprised that my code doesn't give it 
I guess I could ju also just um, revert to the original state somewhere. Uh, I don't see a revert button. Revert to the prefab state. By the way, did you? Oh no. Never mind. I was gonna say uh, something stupid. Oh, that's fun. What's this? Oh yeah. Is everything all right? Thank you. So, let's push record. Let's run this. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. I can stop it. Stop the recording. And let's just... Uh, okay, I'm going to go in my face. So, I'm just going to show my face, my face for a few seconds. Is it working? Let me check. Yeah. So... I'm gonna put shortcut. I hope it's not gonna crash because shortcut plus Godot plus OBS. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might have uh, a few issues. Okay. I'm gonna put back, put you back on my screen. So, yes. That's gonna be my voice. That's an issue, but. Never mind. It's just to give us an idea of what they could do with it. Okay. So they could like take this. It's going to be pixelated and stuff, but we don't care. It's just for the example. So they could have, for example, something like this at the beginning. Or like this. I don't know. Huh, maybe we're gonna need even more ties. Eddie Nottingham, I don't think you should be showing your face live on YouTube. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, Eddie? <laughs> uh, is there a reason you did not migrate to God of War? Uh, yeah, just because it takes time. <laughs> and I don't really have any reason to migrate, to be honest. Uh, most of the game has been done on God of 3, so... I might have for the porting, maybe. But for now, I don't have any reason to do this. Uh, so it could be this, uh, how do we do frame stuff like this? I don't remember how um, I can... Uh... I thought that was the way. I did it a lot of times for my videos. I don't understand why it's not working. Uh, I did an update yesterday, so maybe they changed something. Because usually when you press this... You can go into the timeline. And here there is a timeline. And you can... Oh no! I was already in the keyframe. Okay. Ah, uh, that's very strange. Everything changed. <sighs> Don't tell me I'm gonna have to use my real video editor because I'm actually using Blender, but uh, Shotcut is a bit easier to 
you can do things faster usually, but it seems like I'm not gonna be doing this faster today. Poop, 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 poop. Oh yeah, there is the sound. <laughs> okay. What is this point about? Yeah, that's trash. Nothing works. Oh, what's this now? What's happening? What's all of this? Linear. <gasps> Why did they change this? Uh, Tradi, I will show my face with a French accent. Ah, the, the child. What a child. Yeah, so face, if you say it with a French accent. So if you say fess, fess is like the ass. <laughs> so Eddie was telling me not to show my ass, basically. Because Eddie talk French, apparently. Poo, 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 poo. Okay, guys, not gonna lose too much time on this. I don't know why I can't do the proper zoom thing that I do usually. I'm not sure why it doesn't work. I'm not sure why I can't add new keyframe and why when I click on them they just disappeared. Uh, they, oh, they completely changed the thing and that's very bad. All right. Okay, so they change it, but I just understood how it works now. So let's say we start. What the fuck? Okay, it's recording everything I change. All right. So let's say we start at the beginning. Like this and this is like zoom out like this. We could do something like this. Okay. Actually, yeah. Okay, I can. S yeah, we definitely need the. Uh, more tries if we really want to do this which is going to be an issue because the problem i was talking about is going to be more apparent maybe i'm maybe you know what maybe i'm just gonna not do it do this uh maybe i just i will just have something like this Ah, oh, that's fine. Okay, so they, they should, uh, they could do something like this. They could, um, they could, uh, you know, add some, some bonfire sound if they want to add some ambient stuff. Could add this. Okay, some fire, I sound to have a slow beginning. Yeah, yeah, I, I could add more ties on the right and left. They will tell me what they want, but I think that's a tool we, we can use later on. The only issue is, um, yeah, the fact that the Z order is completely messed up. But hey. It's just an announcement trailer, so... 
the game is so not final yet. It's still missing so much stuff that uh, on the polish animations and particles and stuff that, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so that's one thing I wanted to have. The other thing was, eh. The other thing was uh, the buildings that spawns. Ah, oh, that's gonna be an issue. I think I'm gonna have to... to make a map for this. A real map, I mean. Because uh, or maybe not. No, maybe I don't need a big map. Well, let's try. Let's try. Uh, I'm gonna create uh, another scene. Let's du duplicate this one. Trailer build building scene. Let's close this one. Close this. Close this. Okay. So, let's make sure we're not using the same script here. Uh, it's going to be built in because I don't care. Uh, let's just, okay. What's stopping you from just using recording gameplay? Uh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna use recording gameplay, and um, but there are just a few things that I, w I wanted to implement just to have like something cool in the trailer. So I wanted like this scene where things spawn at the beginning, and I wanted a different scene than. Uh, <gasps> Guys, I'm so stupid. Why well, kind of? <laughs> I just realized something, guys. I did all the scripting stuff. But actually, I just remembered that uh, whenever I load a map in my game, just when Eddie told me this, I realized like wh whatever map you load, it's already doing this. The thing is. I wanted this to be already here, so that's why I made the scene, but I guess that could have been used too. Maybe I could have changed the... Yeah, actually that might be even better. I could have just changed the speed, just for the video. And you know, press B to remove the HUD. Uh, those are... But I could have made a map especially for this and not have to... and not have to script everything, but ah. 
it's done uh, and yeah so i had two ideas so have the ties popping up from the from the so just like what we're doing uh here basically in this one so just like uh spawning stuff like this and the other one was a, a map where you can see buildings being built poof 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 um So it would be mixed with real gameplay of me moving around and putting stuff and building stuff, but uh, you no, know, just uh, yeah, that's the thing. Just to have like mixing gameplay and some more like scenes that don't don't have the the whole HUD and stuff, things that you couldn't see in the game, like buildings popping up everywhere. Uh, no, no way you can see that in the game. So. Hello, JFX47. I know you. I know you. Right? What's your real name? Oh. No real name. <laughs> yeah, you're this guy making No Plan B. A great tactical game. That I didn't play yet. But I should. Cool. Welcome. Um, so for this one, you know what, guys? I'm actually tired of doing this. So I think I'm just gonna work on the map generator. <laughs> Let me know what you want to see. I can either, uh, make this new scene so the idea is to have a scene where you have planes and forest and an empty map and basically buildings are gonna pop on the map and that's gonna be used in the recording or i can go back to the procedural map generator and work on this because i'm kind of tired of doing this to be honest and maybe like i don't know I, they're, they're gonna be the ones creating the actual storyboards so I actually don't know if they're really gonna need it. Pork Gen is always cool, right? Mr. Da was waiting all along for the procedural stuff. In any case, whatever we do, this time let's make a commit. Let's discard this. Uh, I want to discard this too. Don't want to save this. That's bullshit. Oh, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. Because it's not going to change anything in the rest of the game. In normal gameplay, there's always a board. It's like impossible to not have a board. But... Uh... So yeah, let's keep it. Thumbnail. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Intro scene or trailer. Okay, so you guys want to to go back on the generation? Only two people answered, so I'm gonna follow the two people who answered. I think, unless so, uh, I I I guess nobody is against it. I at least. Um. All right. So the generator. Let's take a look at it. How is it? Generate level. Oh yeah, so last time I tried to generate one of the existing levels in the game with the orcs camp stuff. And we tried to make the orcs more clever 
the placement of the orcs at least more clever so as you can see they are always in the best places on the map the best desert places so that's cool uh, this map has way too many mountains by the way <laughs> Okay, so now I need to... Make them even more clever. Then, let's go into the generator. Seriously? Huh? <clears throat> wow, that's a lot of... <laughs> Okay, it's getting really confusing in there. Oh yeah, I have a list here of everything I wanted to do with the orcs. And all of this is just for the orcs. So I'm realizing how much work it will be to do this for every type of tile and structure. Okay. So breeding ground. Distance to closest orc. Randomly select among the 10 best. Bonus oasis. Black mo okay, so I think I did a few of those things. So, for people who are not here, I'm basically placing... Uh, stuff I give a score whenever I try to spawn something so for example in this case when I, I try to generate the orc camps I, ga I give a score to each tile each square uh, and uh, they spawn on the best one basically um Hey, White Cat, how are you doing today? Mm -mm -mm. Treasure Light Crater. I did a lot of those things already. Q is the Light Crater. That's the back release. Oh, I didn't add the treasure. Treasure is T, I think. That's a problem I realized not really practical uh, yeah T is the treasure so let's add something let's say if there is a treasure the score improves If it's in the diagonal, it's a, li a bit less strong. Uh, I want to watch you record your type pressing system so that it isn't so exponential. Allowing me to finally unlock all ties on the board. I was kind of disappointed when I left the game running all night, only to realize I still couldn't afford them all. The thing is, I don't want you to uncover the whole map. But I mean, that's kind of strange that you couldn't. What was your production? Because it, uh, with a, a good production, it's actually quite easy to, to eliminate the whole map. Did you have like... Because yeah, if you're only producing one light per day, yeah, I guess it's not enough. I also modified the game quite a lot. If you've played the demo, might be not up to date with uh, what I have now in the balancing. But it should be you should be able now to if you play normally, you could you should be able to discover the whole map. Uh, if one day you play one of the playtest version or the Patreon version, uh, because my Patreon can already play this, like uh, every week I upload the game. Uh, on uh, somewhere and Patreon can test the latest version even if it's broken 
And uh, there's actually this button in the debug version. You can do this. Oh, sorry. You can go, you can load a map. And you can clear everything. But I won't show you everything. Tired, White Cat? Yeah. The week is not over yet. Don't give up. <laughs> ah, cutie. Alright, so now they are more likely to spawn next to treasures. That's good. So all of this is done. So, let's do the breeding ground. That's going to be the most interesting thing. So basically, I want to generate breeding grounds next to each orc. We only have one letter left. Breeding ground. Uh, how is it called for real? In the game, what's the ID? Oh, it's orc breeding ground. Okay. With an S. Okay. So it's going to be N. So I want to add N next to the orc camp. Sixty to hundred per day, and you didn't have enough. That's crazy. Okay, so yeah, the de I guess the demo is really out of date. And you have paid cheats? <laughs> no, that's not paid cheats. It's just if you are if you play one of the playtest version, or if you have the Patreon because of it. That's I mean that's one of the gifts I want to give the Patreon when you support me. I just want to like, yeah. Uh, please feel free to play the game. I don't. I'm not giving it this to every chair though because. Uh, no, it's important for me to... I like to control which version is playable by the public. But no worries, you just have to be on the Discord and the next playtest, you'll be able to play uh, the game with... the cheats? Maybe not. Ah, sometimes I don't, I don't add the cheats to the playtest version. Well, it's not cheats, it's just, you know, debugging tools for us. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Do I want to generate them directly with the orc camps? Or do I want another function? I think I can do this in the same function. It makes sense. Could I do this somewhere? Okay. I think I'm not gonna try to optimize, I'm just gonna do this in a non optimal way. Alright. Meaning, uh, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go through all the desert style that are remaining. It 
it doesn't need a count. Uh, and if there is something in the adjacent tile, that is a orc. Uh, then oh wait actually might make sense to do it here yeah okay now we're gonna do this here Mike makes more sense because we're gonna be able to give one per orc camp while here gonna run into an issue where I'm like uh, okay, I might give several breeding grounds to Yeah, okay Structure string, so I guess we're just gonna do this then Good. gonna do this Let's go get the index. So when we find it, we also check structure. We check the adjacent cells from from this <clears throat> and we're not, we're not gonna loop like this we need the index uh, for e in hatch cells dot size If we have a desert, and uh, this let's put that into a viable just to. Oh wait, I have two index variable now. And this equal that. So if it's a desert and there is no structure on it, then we put a breeding ground on it, which is N. All right. Uh, oh yeah, I need to remove this. All right, is it gonna work? First try? Never. Never. Yeah, never. Uh, can't convert. Oh yeah. Hmm. 
Here you go. This should work. Better. Yeah! I mean, it all works, almost works first try. Oh my god, what's happening here? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot something. I'm doing it like for every free tile around them. So this guy, for example, has no tile around. That is free. So it doesn't have one. Which is an issue. Which is an issue. Because breeding ground should definitely have priority over this, but I think it's not a real issue. Because I'm actually going to spawn the oryx after the orcs. Order is important here. Oh wait, I already I'm already spawning the orcs before the oryx is so huh oh okay 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 i got it forgot to do something so once i did this i need to remove it too from uh the index array otherwise it can still be used by the next uh stuff so now every orc i mean yeah every orc should have at least one breeding camp this one doesn't and there's a desert here, so that's strange. Huh. Strange behavior. So one thing we can do... Uh, here we can say break. So that we only have one per orc camp. What is this? <laughs> but you know, that's kind of funny. I don't know if I want to remove this kind of stuff. Well, it, it does look broken, but... Kind of funny to have three treasures next to each other. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? I'm still getting confused with my indexes. Dragon burning some of the areas already obtained. That's not very kind. <laughs> Don't burn my cities. Yeah, I'm definitely doing something wrong, so 
Let me think a little. Board pose. Let's rename stuff just to make sure. So the orc. So best score is this, index is this. The orc board pose is. Get board pose from index array index. Edge cells, adjacent cell org board pose. Edge index. Edge cells dot y. Terrains equal desert. Only if the player wakes him up. We'll see. We'll see if it if it makes it into the game. That's kind of funny. Thanks for the idea, by the way. Uh, Yeah, I don't really see the problem. Um, so yeah, this one is alright. This one is alright. This one doesn't have one. This one doesn't have one. And this one doesn't have one either. Even though there there is room around, so that's strange. Just to make sure, just to make it easier to see what could be the issue here, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop generating this stuff.
and stop generating treasure too. Let's just generate orcs, nothing else. Yeah, okay. So, it really looks like uh, it's working, but then the bore, the breeding ground is replaced by um, by something and for some reason here it's in diagonal which it should not be Yeah, I'm not sure why sometimes it's, it's in diagonal. Because this only returns Yeah, only returns left, right, top Diagonal only on the first row, you think? Let's remove that, the break here, just to see uh, See, so here is there's one on each side, which is normal Same thing here, same thing here, same thing here And this one, look, 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 there's an issue here It does look like, uh, maybe it thinks that the orc is here so it's spawning those. But I don't know why it's doing it for this one and not the other ones. Doesn't look like he's doing this all the time because breeding ground on the diagonal is useless, basically. Yeah, look. So. This is the score. This is the index in the index array of uh, the one that has the best score. So if we want to get the the position, it's index array. Yeah, of index. That that's like the that contains the index of the cell. So I'm quite sure the bot position is all right. Uh. Is there something wrong with my adjacent cells? I don't think so. Um, so that's on the top, 
on the left, on the right, and at the bottom. So, hello, everything looks fine and we already used this before and it, it was working, so... Ah, what's happening? Uh, I don't really like that music. Uh, why is it spawning on the diagonals? If it's on the diagonals and the adjacent cells is alright. Am I spawning this on the wrong thing? Because adjacent cells give us the cells with the, their position on the board. And this give me back the index of this cell on the board. Oh, wait. So first thing, as index returning the wrong index. Well, there's already one thing I'm doing wrong. This, I can't do this because edge index is the index in this, in the overall uh, thing. And index array is not all, it's just one thing. So first thing, I can't do this. Uh, I need to erase, I, I need to erase actually for this. Yeah, I need to erase that value from the index array. But yeah, what's bugging me is that it seems to be working most of the time. <laughs> uh, but not always. What? What is this? <laughs> How is this a good place for no camp? Look. Look, guys. It really looks like what? Oh, okay. I did break. I think I did break something with my erase here. Let's remove it. That's bad because it means we can be removed, but let's remove it. Maybe it was just this that was causing the issue. So this map is fine, but as we know, it doesn't always turns out this way. When you remove from index array in the adjacent, then remove later. Alex, you got it. It's, it's exactly this. That's why now it's working. So basically, yeah, when I, were I was removing this, but I forgot that then it means here, it needs to be this because the array is smaller. Uh, so actually maybe if I do this, now it works. 
Oh shit. Wow. Wow, okay now. But yeah, what, what was causing the issue, I think, was that erase or uh, remove thing. Now it it's it really seems to be working fine. Let's try a few times and see if we can find a diagonal. But yeah, it does look like this was the issue, yeah. So I was removing something from the array, but I was not like... Uh, updating my other indexes yeah so that was the issue cool i can try another time but really looks like it's resolved now we have the breeding grounds on the adjacent stuff and that's why it was uh it was um we could see clearly that there was one cell wrong. It was because of the index. To minus by the number of spawns before it in the array. Yeah, yeah, Alex, I think you're right. So basically, I need to. It's. It's N. Wait. So yeah, I erased it and then uh, I break. And it's always going to be one. So now I can do this. Oh no, the light is out again. But the light is out because it's actually time for me to go. To go eat. Oh, whoa, what a mess. Okay. So erase doesn't seem to be the good thing, but we move is logically not the good thing too, but... Oh, or maybe it is. Maybe I was just... No, no, it isn't. Ah. The fact that I'm doing this in between... Actually, you know what? The proper way to do this would be to actually do this oh I can't do this after it because I'm removing it from the from the index array oh which is fine actually which is fine I don't care so in this order it should be already a bit better uh, so this way we remove the good index in the index array and then we do the, our stuff here. The thing is, here the real issue here is that we don't know Yeah, it should be erase. The var orc should be before the remove. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, yeah. I think erase should work, right? Erase value. So that should work. Let's just try without it, just to make sure it still works. 
So it should spawn only one per camp. And uh, next to it. Okay, seems to work. We can see uh, a funny side effect. Is that it's always the top one. Because the, get the adjacent thing gives us the top one first. So what I'm going to do very quickly. I'm going to shuffle this. Uh, just let's take a look. Now it should be one of the four direction, not only the top one. Wait, what? Maybe, maybe I just unlucky on these ones <laughs> because those ones are at the top, and as you can see, at the bottom, and the top was free, and at the right, and the top was free. So I guess. I guess it just decided to... So this one doesn't have one. And you know why? Because I'm quite sure that below this, there is a desert. And... Uh, that's our issue. We need to remove... We need to remove... Uh, the the bore from the index array. Well, actually, no, 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 that's nothing. My home currently is just is just randomly put somewhere, <laughs> so that has nothing to do with this. Uh, but I, I still want to remove the index array because if I spawn stuff after the orc, it could be erased if I let it. But it seems to be messing up my whole thing for some reason. It's not in the for loop. So that's messing up with everything, right? Oh no, it, it isn't. Okay. Did we solve the issue? Looks like it. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we have a breeding ground next to the orcs. Now let's uh, add back everything I removed for testing and see if they are getting removed by them. Let's see. Are they removed? Oh, doesn't... No! No! Alright. It's working. So one thing... With what What's happening with all those animals? <laughs> I really need to change the percentages here because that's kind of crazy. Um... All right, seems to be working. So, one thing I want to do very quickly, generate terrains. Oh yeah, I need to remember that this has to be a terrain and not a structure. Can I actually...
Ah. It's called Generate Structures and there is a boolean to say if it's a terrain. Nice job, mate. <laughs> so let's just generate actually Oasis and Treasures before the Orcs so that they can be used to to for the scoring system. Okay, the game still works. Uh, actually, let's just check that the Oasis is a terrain. So if it's a terrain, I should be able to destroy it and still have the Oasis. Okay, so it, that works. We have the Orcs. As you can see, there's a treasure here. Uh, Oasis here. So really good ties. So as you can see, the Orcs are basically always getting next to the Oasis or the treasures, this kind of stuff. For example, there's two treasures here. So the ox is right here. So it's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, I can remove this. And... Oh yeah, we need to go. Uh, we need to go, but I want to do one more thing. I guess we're gonna do this. Hey Jed, didn't miss the stream? Uh, you kind of missed the stream because I'm gonna end the stream. <laughs> so you, you're kind of missing it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but again, you can watch the VOD. Um, blah, 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 blah. yeah, yeah. We'll do this. We'll do this next time. So next time. We work on the procedural stuff. Breeding ground is done. Uh, we're gonna use the distance to the closest orc instead of just using the adjacency because you can see we still have a lot of um, orcs that are close to each other. Uh, like, like this is kind of a problem, <laughs> right? Uh, Or is it? Or maybe it's not, to be honest. Hey, see you soon, White Cat. Thank you for coming. I guess I know, yeah, I still try to do it and remove a little bit of points depending on the distance of the orc camp. Because basically, the presence of this orc camp and this orc camp basically means that, I mean, that's why they are like this, because this is the best place on the map, basically, with all the treasures and the oasis here. But since they are not in the range, they do not count towards, they do not reduce their score. So next time, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna make a function that calculates the distance, uh, that finds the closest orc camp, and calculate the distance, and then relative to this distance, uh, we're gonna lower the score, basically. Uh, and we, I'm going to try to not lower it too much because I still want the orcs to be able to be close to each other if there is really a good spot and I, I still want it to happen sometimes. But yeah, definitely not as much as this. Those three orcs were basically next to each other, which is not good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do this next time. I got to watch the earlier part. Oh, cool. I'm glad. I'm glad you could watch them. That's fine. Uh, okay. Let me go back to my face. And maybe someone just laughed. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, like the stream. Uh, and next stream is going to be on Monday. 
Um, so for the guys over on Twitch, we're going to see if we can wait someone. And don't forget, when we wait someone, you need to, to be like, Rah! and stuff. Uh, yeah, we're going to raid Sky Grade TV, who's also making a game with Godot. So yeah, we're going to raid this guy and um if and and end the stream and uh and i see you uh next time and everything all right gonna start the raid thank you again uh for coming everyone and uh yeah bye bye let's raid this so yeah for the guys on youtube we are currently raiding uh the other guy stream so i'm gonna i'm gonna go give you the watch very quickly and uh yeah i'm gonna end this one so see you next time guys do it you want to wish list the game wish list the game <laughs> So sick. Where's it? Where's the? You have a link here somewhere, I assume. Where is it? Is it your, your about section, perhaps? Where's your game? Bro, oh, there it is. Wishlist on Steam. Here you go. Wishlist escape. Go. Do it now. <laughs> Play the video game. All right. Hey, Ray. Hey, welcome in. You came in just the right time. You see, I'm working with my Twitch authorization code right now, which means I can't show you anything that I'm doing. So it's been very entertaining. I put on this Subway Surfer gift for everyone's enjoyment while I'm doing OA. <laughs> I hope this is good enough for you. Perhaps we should change it to Minecraft Hardcore. Here, let me go to YouTube.